Okay, let's remove some apps and applications from the tablet. This is a large benefit of the tablet, whereas on the iPad you could not delete applications. You had to put them in folders on faraway panels. On the tablet you are able to delete an app at any time. So to get rid of an app, you're just going to hold your finger down on the app. So let's say I'd like to get rid of CodeSpark. I'm going to hold down and then I'm given the option to uninstall. So I'll click uninstall and I'll be given a warning that the data associated with this app will be removed. In other words, it will delete where a student was in the app. Uninstall and now that app is gone. Similarly, something you saved as a shortcut, for example, Freckle. Again, I'll just hold down on Freckle and I will remove from Chrome. So basically it's removing that shortcut from Chrome, which is where we got it. And it's going to ask me a question. Do I want to clear the data? Um, no need to really do that to clear the data from the website. So I'm just going to remove. The last thing that will be on your tablets are things that you've gotten out of the web store. For example, my number line. So when I hold down on that, It'll just give me the option to uninstall and it will ask me if I'm sure and remove. So you can simply remove things by holding down on them and uninstalling them or removing them from Chrome. If you want to get those apps back, you would just go back into the Play Store or back into the Web Store and reinstall them.